kid. Don't ever let them get inside your head. Hey guys, we're back. Today we're working on a 1990 Daytona 2.5 liter turbo. We're going to change the fuel filter. We've jacked and supported the car safely. We've got uh, the key out of the ignition. We're going to be working on the uh, passenger side rear underneath. This is where you're going to find the fuel filter. There it is there. So first thing we're going to do is remove that clamp so we can get the fuel filter out and accessible. Uh, looks like a 13 mil socket we're going to need, so we're going to undo this bolt and make it happen. Now what we need to do is undo these two clamps here and here. Got a drain bucket under the vehicle. We'll be able to get those hoses off. Now we'll go ahead and pop those hoses off and put some gloves on and there'll be some gas shooting out. We've got a replacement filter here today. We're going to be using this Baldwin filter, part number BF794. The filter comes with a bracket, which is perfect. We'll wiggle those hoses off. All right, on this filter, there's an in and an out. The out is the one that goes to the front of the car. So if you trace which is the center on this filter, it's labeled on the filter itself. If you look, there's a line that goes, that line that goes up and heads to the front of the car, that's the out. That's where you want to hook that one up. We've replaced this with two clamps. The new clamps are actually uh, this style here, which won't bite into the rubber hose. So it's a good idea to pick up a couple of new clamps when you're doing this. We're going to go ahead and tighten these clamps up, and then we're going to mount this back up here into place. All right, we tighten the two clamps up. We put the filter back up into place, and before we tighten the bolt here, I rotated the filter in the in the clamp to make sure that these, uh, these hose clamps here are not digging into the fuel tank, so nothing's touching the fuel tank. Just turn it a little bit like that. There's no kinks in the hoses that are uh, feeding to and from the fuel filter. Next step on this uh, fuel filter replacement, we're going to go ahead and cycle the key a couple times and just check for leaks. If we got no leaks, we're going to be good to go. All right, we're back. I cycled the key a couple times and actually ended up having a leak at this hose right here. So uh, what I did was I removed the clamp again. I pulled this hose off, leaving everything in place. And then I trimmed the hose back just a little tiny bit here. You see that the hose over time has uh, collapsed a little bit on the inside. So I trimmed uh, just under a quarter inch off it, which left me enough room up here still. Uh, if I had to, I would actually have to, if I had to trim any more than that and it wasn't getting a good seal, I'd actually have to replace this hose. So uh, I trimmed the hose back a tiny bit, uh, reclamped it, cycled the key a couple more times, double checked it here. It's nice and tight, not leaking at all. So I'm glad I checked that. All right, guys, thanks for watching. Uh, don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button. Have a great day. Hey, kid, don't ever let them get inside your head. They'll tell you what to do in life instead of everything you know that you could get. Don't let them guide your life towards regret. I'll fight for what I love with every breath. My past is filled with things I won't forget. I use them all to push me to my best. So treat the worst of